I had a little chat with Dominic this morning and we talked about how to change the sensitivity of slider values in Dash Studio. And I thought, while it's fresh in my head, I'm going to just illuminate everyone on this subject in case you didn't know this. So I have a regular sphere here and sometimes so you can just go take any of the universal sliders and move it around. But sometimes you have vast distances that your object needs to traverse. If I go and zoom out, like out, out now, even from, you know, out of vision into vision. And that's, of course, where all these little sliders come in handy. So, you know, move the slider, you move X and then, you know, my, my sphere moves. But sometimes the distances are so vast that I'd have to literally just do this here for five minutes in order for the value to actually change. And thankfully, there is a way to change the nudge sensitivity of any of these sliders. Did you know this? And that, that works on pretty much every slider. So it doesn't matter if it's a surface or a morph or whatever, anything that can be slid out that way. If you head over to this little gear icon here and head over to parameter settings, you've got this nudge value here. And that is on one by default. That means I suppose the position of the slider adds one or subtracts one from the value. And if you make that larger, then you can move your objects faster. So if I put this to five now and hit accept, and then I go back into here and then uh, this so it won't change the sensitivity of the tool, but it will change the sensitivity of the slider here. So I can move my, my sphere much faster now. And it has to be set on a per slider basis. So my Y translate has not been affected, but my X translate now has. And I can also make it uh, smaller. So if I wanted to, some to have something that has much smaller increments, I can set this to 0.1. And then I can make really fine adjustments. So I can move the slider more, but my value changes less. So that is, that is very useful. There is a funky tool that I like to use that makes it uh, easy for me to speed up or slow down the sliders without having to go into this menu. And that is the Scene Tools product by 3D Universe. Specifically, Scene Tools 2 does this. I have it up here on the toolbar, and it's these two little sliders that essentially make that happen. So if I go and uh, zoom in here, and I'm going to go and set the slider back to uh, to that the default uh, one here. Oh no, actually, I'm going to leave it on on really slow. So if I go and move it, it's you know it's slow. If that is not slow enough for me, I can go and press this on the slider with the slider selected here. I go press this once or twice, or three or four times, and then I have an incredibly small adjustment value here. Likewise, if I make that faster, then my object goes at the speed of light. So there we go. I thought I'm going to share that with you while it's fresh in my head. <laughs>